This video shows instructions on how to use the SBH Motorsports blog. We're going to show you how to register user ID and log on. First, I got to put a plug in for the store. So if we uh, click on the visit our store icon here, it'll take us to the web store. And uh, you click the SPH Motorsports.ca hyperlink here, and it'll take us to the store. And uh, here you can browse and uh, purchase products. So we're going to go back to our uh, blog site. So we're going to click visit our blog off the SPH Motorsports site. And here we are. So uh, we're going to register. So we're going to click the register link on the right hand side. And here we need to enter a username and a valid email because the password for the blog login will be sent to this email address. So we're just going to type in the user information here. Once you've entered the user information, you click the register button. And now you can see that we've received an email with the user information you're going to see the title SPH Motorsports or Motorsports Enthusiast, your name and password as a subject. Here you're going to see your username that you've chosen and the password that the system has generated for you. So we're just going to copy this password. Now we can go log in to the site by clicking this hyperlink in the email. You can see we're in the login page. So we're going to go ahead. I'm just going to paste the password in here enter the username and we're going to click login so now you can see we're inside the blog page you can see that your user ID is up in the top right hand corner and we're going to start blogging so we click the right hyperlink on the top left of the screen is shown here. Now we're ready to write our uh, blog comments so we're going to enter a title here. And we're going to enter uh, information in our blog. So we're just going to enter some information in this description field here. Now we're going to enter tags, and this is what you want the search engines to pick up and the spiders to pick up for tags on your blog. So we're going to enter snowmobile pistons here, and we're going to click the add button. You can see that the tag's been added. Then we're going to go down and we're going to choose our category. We're going to cho choose end and repair off the category, but if you want to add a new category, you would click the new add new category link just above as shown here underneath the mouse. So now we're done and we're going to publish this to the web. So we're going to click the publish icon here. If you wanted to just save it and not post it to the web and come back later and edit it, you'd click the save button here. So now you can see that our post has been added and saved. You can see the message up on the top left here. If you wanted to edit that post, you could click that edit hyperlink. We want to view it, so we're going to click the view post hyperlink here. And there you go. There's our blog entry. It's been added. So now uh, we're still in edit mode inside the blog. So what we're going to do is we're going to log out of here. And we're going to go to just the main blog page as anyone would see it on the internet. So we're just going to enter the main blog 
address here in the address bar. Now you can see we're on the main blog page and there's our new blog entry at the top with the title and the information so you can click on that and enter that uh, blog entry if you wish. You can see where it's posted in the uh, engine repair category. Now likewise uh, if we want to go back in and add more blogs or change this one we would click the login hyperlink and we would log in the same way we did uh, initially.